Hello. So, topic of discussion today is the custom interface for the big screen beyond and why they did it. I've heard lots of complaints from people who say they can't uh, share with friends, they can't resell it. Let me get into that stuff later, but let's go into why this even happened in the first place, okay? Um, so, I've got the same three headsets here. I had my last video, a Rift, Index, and Arrow. Um, I hadn't put the Rift on in ages, and I put it on recently, and it fits me beautifully. It really fits my face well. The uh, Index has a much cushier interface. Um, it doesn't fit me quite as well, and the Arrow, while still comfortable and supporting itself well, um, has even more play in it. Um, so, Headsets don't fit everybody. And you probably heard people say, oh, you know, I tried this headset and it didn't fit well. Um, very recently, I had uh, two things that came up. I uh, uh, had a person who, who said the index didn't fit them at all, said that they had to, like, have it on their brow and basically could only get, like, one eye um, lined up properly. So um, the index is used by a lot of people. I've loved my index for a long period of time. And, and it's designed to work for a whole lot of people, but there are people who it won't fit. Um, most recently, um, I won't mention a manufacturer, a very recently introduced headset, um, a person who said that he had a, a larger head and a very flat front face said that the entire weight of the headset was on the bridge of his nose and he could only stand it for two or three minutes at a time. It was incredibly painful. Um, and that same headset is being worn by a lot of people who really like it, but it doesn't fit everybody. Um, so past the fact that it fits your face, you also need to get it so that the displays are lined up for your eyes. And um, all of these headsets have IPT adjustment, manual and automatic. And um, for years, I thought my IPT was probably around 66 or so. I mean, I just kind of, yeah, it looks about right. Um, when I got the Arrow, it auto IPD adjusted me down to um, 64 and a half. I'm like, oh, I had a little high. Um, then I went to see my optometrist and I found out that um, I had a, an IPD of 62. Not only that, that my eyes are not perfectly centered and that's the case for most people. Uh, one of my eyes is about a millimeter further from my nose than the other one is. <clears throat> Now that's within a typical deviation that you're going to have for sweet spots. That's not a problem. All of these headsets move symmetrically. And by that I mean they assume that your eyeballs are perfectly centered on your face. Now, I've got 31.5 on one side and 30.5 on another, but other people have mentioned that they have a much bigger difference. One guy had an IPD um, where one eye was 3.5 millimeters off from the other eye. And that's, it's not uncommon to have them, have them be different than that. So, um, so these headsets, even the automatically adjusting ones, um, are going to have trouble with people who have offset eyes. Now, if you can take that headset and scooch it and have it be comfortable and have it stay in place, you could center it, but that's a reality of life that you have to deal with. Um, and, uh, and most people, I, I, I sort of wonder how many people actually have their eyes aligned properly. Now, in the case of the, the big screen beyond, they're doing a couple things. So, first of all, they're, uh, they're having you do a scan of your face, which, big pain in the ass, right? Got to go find an Apple store. A lot of people don't want to jump through that hoop. A lot of complaining. But they get that scan on your face, and they make sure that they can center the headset on you. Great starting point. Then they adjust the IPD at the factory. And uh, for my eyes, they'll put the exact same thing on each side, and I'm within a half millimeter, I'm good to go. But for somebody else, they can, they can move one off center a few millimeters. So they can set up an asymmetrical IPD, which is what most people have is asymmetrical. Whereas none of these headsets, including the Arrow, it has a single motor and it moves the displays symmetrically. So it, it can't account for asymmetric IPD. Um, the other thing that this takes care of, I mean, you just have to look around and see the variety of faces on this planet. Um, you've got people who 
look borderline Neanderthal with great big overhanging brows. You've got people with very flat faces. You've got people with narrow faces and wide faces. And there is no way that you can make this fit everybody. And that goes for all of these. They'll, they'll fit a certain median. You know, they're going to try to hit most people. And, and that's the best that they can do. And, you know, they've done a good job with that. They've got people who work really hard to try to maximize the amount of people who can fit in there. But it also means that for some people, there's going to be more wiggle room. There is going to be more side-to-side -side motion because they've got a narrower face, or it's going to land on their cheeks or their eyes or something like that. Now, another thing I mentioned a while ago, which I hadn't even thought about until I was looking at eye alignment, I was really excited about the fact that I could adjust the way this sits so that it, it has the right, it has an even pressure between my brow and my cheeks. I thought, that's really cool. That fits me really comfortably. But it didn't even dawn on me to later that the lenses are tilting with the headset. And so I'm literally, I'm adjusting it to the contours of my face, but not to my eyeballs. So I'm actually adjusting it like this or this. So um, it's going to squash the field of view vertically just a little bit, and it's gonna, um, it's gonna affect what I see inside the lenses. So every headset I've got here, there, there is no, um, no adjustment here that it stays put. It, it, it moves a little bit and there's some drag on it. Um, but the fact is all headsets adjust to that. And they've got to, they've got to handle people who have, you know, thin cheeks, you know, thin, or, well, you get the idea. Your, your, uh, your cheek to, to brow can be all over the map. And that's going to adjust how the uh, how the display is showing. And what the uh, big screen beyond is doing, so first they can do the asymmetrical I, uh, IPD, and they can adjust exactly for your eye so it won't drift, and you won't accidentally have it set wrong, or you won't accidentally hit it and knock it off. It, you know, it's fixed, but there's some pros to that as well. And uh, not only are they centering it on your face, but they're centering your eyeballs on it vertically as well. And they're going to make it mold so that it fits your eyebrow and your nose. Now, I've got a pretty decent sized nose. I come from a lineage of, uh, you know, the Canadian French with the hawk noses. And then on the other side of the family, there's some ski slopes. And mine's fairly straight, but it's not small. Um, and, but I know some people with really small, cute little button noses and, and all of that. And uh, it's hard to to handle that. So what they normally do is just make a great big area for your nose. And if you happen to have a narrow face and the whole um, headset, you know, is it's wider than your head to accommodate people with wider heads than you have, um, it's going to allow for some motion. And uh, that was part of what I was covering in, in my last video. But this pain in the ass, right? You got to go down to the Apple store, have them scan your face, but it guarantees that you will have perfect alignment with the lenses, possibly and most likely better than you've had in any other headset. The lenses are going to be perfectly perpendicular to your eyeballs. They're not going to be scooted back and forth. The, the uh, displays are going to be exactly adjusted for your IPD, asymmetrical though it may be. And, um, and there won't be any room for it to move around. It'll be perfectly shaped to your face. So I get that it's it's not as convenient as, uh, as having a bunch of these to swap out between friends. I, I don't see this as being a first VR headset for people. And even when my big screen beyond gets here, I'm keeping the arrow. And when I have a friend coming to visit and you got to know with this thing behind me, when people come to visit, they want to try it out. So having the auto IPD is great. First time VR user puts it on, presses a button, it adjusts itself, tells you if it's too high or low. Perfect for visitors, right? Does a great job. Um, but it's me in this thing 99% of the time. And this is going to be customized for me. It's going to be a perfect fit for my face. Everything's going to be adjusted perfectly for me. Now, the big screen beyond has to do it that way for, for a couple reasons. I mean, if you look in most of these other headsets, they've got a fairly large lens, and that's because they've got to accommodate 
people being all over inside the mask. And this doesn't have to do that. And because it's so small, it needs to have you in, in a fairly narrow range so that, you know, the sweet spot on it isn't huge, but they make it so that when you put it on, it puts you right in that sweet spot. So, you know, it, it's a mixed bag, but it's the way that they're able to make it so small and light to begin with. So when people say, oh, well, what if, what if they just had like five different shapes that fit most people? It's like, you can't do that. Um, because of the size, it, it doesn't fit that way. And it's going to be um, very specific to a person's features on their face because even if your friends come in and they've got the same IPD as you do, if, uh, if they've got a, a larger, smaller nose, you know, they're going to either get light leakage or uh, it's not going to fit their brow or the sides of their faces. I mean, you can't just say, oh, if five things will fit all. Um, I've also had people say, well, you know, they have a specific headset and they don't have any motion in it. And that's perfectly possible. I mean, this will fit certain heads really well. And then others are going to have more play. And you just, you can't get rid of that standard deviation. People come in all shapes and sizes. Um, so the whole idea of having a custom interface is, um, it's a great way to solve that once and for all. It means that people who've had trouble getting comfortable in a VR headset will all fit in one of these. Now, like I said, it does mean that you've got to find somebody with an iPhone or, you know, some other fairly recent device, uh, there's a pain point there. Um, if you go to sell it, someone else is going to need to have um, a scan made of their face. And, um, and you may have to set, send the whole thing back to the factory to have them adjust the IPD for somebody. Now, it just has little inserts in there, but they do calibrate it and it's tight tolerances. So I've, uh, I've asked and it doesn't sound like it's likely they're going to send anybody a, a home IPD adjustment kit with different size inserts where you can tweak it at home. Um, there's a lot of close tolerances here to make sure everything's a tight fit. So um, there are limitations to that. But, uh, but once again, I'm not buying this to share. I'm buying it for me. And, and yes, I've got another headset to share. Um, some people don't have people coming over to play on their rigs and some people will be perfectly fine with just a personal headset. And it's not going to be for everybody. I mean, there are all kinds of videos comparing them with other headsets that are out today. And, um, and this is, is uh, you know, it's not a great fit if you've got piles of friends coming over, swapping it out, playing Beat Saber and going from one to the next to the next to the next. I mean, no big deal. Um, you get something different. Or you get two. Like I said, I've already got a few. Um, this one, this one I'm keeping, and I don't have a problem with it. I don't think I'm suffering with the Arrow, mind you. It's a good headset. It has a nice clear view, um, and I'm enjoying it. Um, and and Varja's made some changes lately. They've incorporated the, a redshift adjustment tool so that it looks clear for everybody in that respect. Um, but none of these headsets are perfect either. So this does not do everything. Um, and neither do any of the others. And it's going to be quite a while before we have a headset that has a full retina display through a huge, you know, field of view at a really high frame rate. It's just, it's not going to be here for a while. So until then, we have to make compromises. Um, you can decide uh, if you want something that looks a certain way or gives you a different level of experience. Now, for something like this, I'm betting on the fact that the experience that you have in VR with this um, compensates for everything else. But I won't know for two months until mine gets here, so I do not have one yet. I'm still waiting patiently. This is a 3D print. I had people asking the last one about mine, but this is not real. You can see 3D printed inserts. Um, but it gives you an idea of the scale. So I, I can see about what it's gonna look like. And of course my nose hits this because it's not customized for me. But um, I hope that kind of explains why, why they had to do this. I mean, it's a small form factor, so the alignment has to be perfect. They don't have the great big juggle space that you have in some of the other ones. Um, but, once again, some people may not be willing to do that, and that's fine too. I mean, headsets are evolving, and uh, one day they'll have a perfect headset, but it isn't, isn't here yet. Um, 
But I'm really excited about this thing. I think it's going to be really cool to put something on, forget I'm wearing it, and uh, uh, just have it fit perfectly. Uh, I'm really looking forward to a custom for me headset. Anyway, and take that for what it's worth. Uh, like I said, there's lots of other reviews out there, but I don't think anybody's really covered this in, in any detail. And like I said, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. You've got, you know, IPD that can be skewed. You've got centering your head. You've got fitting your head and your nose properly so you're supporting it well. And uh, having something that absolutely fits your face perfectly is going to make a huge difference in that uh, situation. So do with it what you will. Um, have fun.